Well, since the last how-to went down so well, I figured we'd come back to Saddleback and shoot another. We're here on the Bergstadel Trail. Again, it's pretty wet. There's a lot of roots in this trail and it's pretty gnarly. So I figured this would be the perfect video to do a how to ride wet route. Let's get this started. It's just like being back in Scotland. As you can probably see, it is super rooty. You've got them crisscrossing each other. You've got them sideways. You've got individual roots, some big ones, some small ones, and they can really catch you out. But the first thing that I want to talk about is confidence. Coming into this section, you want to know that you can tackle it. You want to be looking ahead, picking your lines, thinking about your braking, thinking about your body position, having nice soft hips, your shoulders relaxed in that attack position, your weight kind of spread right across the bike, 50-50 on the front and on the rear, and then you want to plan your line, which we're gonna get onto right now. So this is a perfect example to start off this little tutorial. Coming down here, I'm going low on the trail, so that's rider's right. And I'm really setting up for this section right here because it's super rooty. The roots are actually at a slight angle and I want to be crossing over them straight. I don't want to be at a slight angle because then the tire is going to slide away from me. If I cross over them straight, my body weight is right, I'm in that attack position. Hips are soft, shoulders are nice and strong, but also moving around and I should just be able to flow over them. I've got all this dirt right here that I can do my braking on, so I've got no problem to slow down a little bit. I'm then going to get off the brakes just right here. I'm going to unweight the bike a tiny, tiny little bit off this route and then I'm just going to glide over this section right here and then back into the dirt and then back again, unweighting and straight through this section, setting up for the next bit. And I'm already looking ahead and planning where I'm going to go through there. Baby. You're coming down off that section, you're gathering speed and momentum and all of a sudden you're faced with another rookie section. Surprise. Surprise. So coming in here, there's really two options. You could go all the way left, which is where I'm stood right now, or you could start to go right. Now, right is definitely an easier line. However, you're not gonna carry any speed out of it. You're also gonna get jolted a little bit, and you're gonna go off the trail and then have to come back onto it. Going this way, which is the left, as the rider is coming down the trail, it's a little bit more challenging. There are a lot of routes. You've got to be very precise. In fact, when I'm coming through this first section, I'm actually unweighting the bike, hopping ever so slightly into this patch right here, which is dirt and rock. I know that I'm gonna have grip. And then I'm aiming just to hop over the rock and then start going straight. And what I'm doing by doing all of that is I'm avoiding the main section of roots. I'm staying up high and the roots I am crossing, I'm crossing them straight on. I'm not gonna slide away. I'm not doing any braking over the roots and I'm carrying speed. Speed is also a bit here. It's your friend. You don't want to be going too slow because if you're going slow, you're not going to be balanced on the bike. You're not going to be able to carry momentum forward and you might just get jolted and lose balance just for that split second, which is enough to knock you. You need to drop a foot or even just kind of go off trail and feel a little bit out of control. So you want to keep your speed good. You want to get your braking points. Look for the dirt, look where you're going and then aim out of this section. I'm going to do it a few times and show you how it's done. There we go, a lap of the Bergstall Trail done once again. Super fun, love riding it, love technical trails. Hope that that helped you, that gave you some insight on how to ride technical, gnarly, rooty sections. If it did, give a thumb up like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.